Hello guys, Shadow Cybox here with another episode of Shadow Cybox Sports Minute. And I'm super excited guys for the first week ever for Shadow Cybox Sports Minute. I'm going to be doing a football game that does not include the Seahawks or the Dolphins. How awesome is that guys? But before I get into this, I have to talk about the Dolphins guys. Tua Tonga has officially been named the starter. Awesome news. I'm so happy. But in other news, guys, I'm so excited to say it's time for the Steelers to up against the Tennessee Titans, guys. The first thing I'd like to talk about, these used to be two of my favorite teams. They used to be. Steelers were my second favorite team, and the Titans were my third. I don't like what happened when Tannehill came in, Marcus Mariota left. That kind of put them off my list. And the Steelers, when Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell left, kind of put me off the team. Even though both teams are now undefeated. That's what makes this match even better, guys. After this, one team will no longer be undefeated. Unless there's a tie and both teams stop it. That's very unlikely, guys. First thing I'd like to talk about are the Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger, Judas Wishes, James Conner, TJ Watt. That is a full line, guys. I, mean, I doubt it. Ben Roethlisberger looks like he's getting old. There's Judas and Schuster that can't really carry the whole team. James Conner is pretty good. And then TJ Watt with Minka Fitzpatrick can't forget him. A great lineup, guys, but I doubted it very much. I thought this team was going to blow up. Ben Roethlisberger to me is just too old and should really think about retiring soon. But he proved me wrong. 5-0. and oh, X. Like I said earlier, guys, this game was delayed. So maybe one team actually wouldn't have been 5-0 and oh at this point. So a lot of players in Tennessee were getting COVID at one point, guys. So that is the end of the game. And I wonder, who would have won back then? Would the game be different? Very cool to think about, guys. Now to talk about the Tennessee Titans. I don't know too many of their players. I only know Tannehill and Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is one of my favorite players. He is an excellent running back. Super strong. He, he gives me Marshawn Lynch vibes every time I watch him. A strong beast. Tannehill, though. I don't, I don't really like him. Since he was at Miami, I've never actually liked him, guys. I don't find him a good quarterback. I feel like it's the team. But that's just my opinion, guys. And we will see today. When two great teams clash, that's when you will really see who's more talented, talented and who will come out better, guys. I'm so excited. Steelers, Titans, 1 p.m. And, guys, for my prediction. I almost forgot that. My prediction for the winner is... Oh, this is this is a tough one. Um, I'm gonna go Steelers. Honestly, I feel like that's a better lineup. I, I I have to go Steelers. I feel like Steelers are gonna win, guys. But let's see. Will I be four for four? I'm three for three, guys, with predictions. But I may be wrong for the first time. Um, uh, this is actually a close game. I'm I actually am questioning myself, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this, guys. And I'll come to you at halftime, guys, where I hope my prediction will be correct. Maybe it will, maybe it won't be, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. I'm so excited for halftime, and have a nice day.